so in this tutorial we are going to make this model so we have some dimensions the of this model this is our model number seven so we are going to make this first i select extrude select this plane then i have a rectangle center rectangle and the dimensions are 105 and height is also 105 enter click here and cl close then I have holes in there also the position of these holes is that th this gap is 32 and this also gap is 32 so we have to keep in it mind so to make these holes okay first I hide these dimensions then I go to continuous auto dimensioning I don't want to show it then I take circle and draw a circle like of dia 10 and close now we have to position this circle I select rapid dimension from this vertical axis and this center the distance 32 also from horizontal axis this distance is 32 then we have to make this circle on the all four sides so I select the dimensions right click and hide to have a better view then I select mirror I select the circle then I select center line and this vertical line apply this time once again I select the circle center line this time this horizontal line is center and we can see the preview then apply also on this side we want so I select this center line is horizontal and ok this way we have created the circles I select finish extrude values 10 and ok then we have to make this circular part here its dimension is 40 so I select extrude ok its proper dimensions are 30 and 15 ok so I take whole circle then I need the center of this uh, square so we cannot trace the center easily so to trace the center we can intersect the midpoints midpoint of this line I select midpoint and trace it ok we can see the dot dots here then also the midpoint of this vertical line then I trace this and the intersection will be center here I can insert the values 15 and this is okay, 30 and 15 then I select finish this extrude value we have is 96 and in the boolean I select unite I want it to a single body and ok then we have to make this part so first we need a datum plane I select extrude ok I select datum plane then at distance this is our reference xz plane and the distance we have is 20 we can make it a bigger plane to have a better view and ok and on this plane we have to do the extrude here I select rectangle from this end point I select corner rectangle and this value width is given 30 and the height we have is 90 
and close it then we have to make the hole hole so for this hole we need circle here I select circle and then we have to make circle on its midpoint so I select trace the midpoint here then I drag it and here I draw circle that is dia 12 again on this midpoint this dia is also 12 and this distance is 30 also distance on this side is 30 so distance between them will auto automatically will be 30 and finish so we have to make the extrude on the downward side so I take it downward then I select end condition select until selected in until selected I select this outer surface yeah. and I make it unite and ok then I can hide this plane after that we have to make this portion once again on the this right side so to make this we need a datum plane I select plane I need plane here I select infer from its center to this center and ok then I make the extrude on this plane this plane here and ok then we need its dimension here that is 20 and 70 then we have whole of 10 that is 20 and this height is 70 then we need hole in there so to make the holes x circle then its midpoint from its midpoint I trace it hole of dia 10 one more here in its alignment this distance is 20 from this end also from this distance this end this is 20 and finish once again we have to do the similar thing I select until selected and select this face here I, I have to reverse the direction here the direction is on the other side so after that we have to make this square cut here that is a square cut we are given so I select extrude then I select this face here then we need to trace the circle here so I select here static wireframe on this edge we need a rectangle on this edge this rectangle is dimension 10 by 10 and close finish the direction is inward and I make it shaded once again then end condition I give until selected and this edge is I select I select subtract and ok and I hide this datum plane right click hide in the end we just have to make the fillet I select edge blend radius is 20 and on this edge is we have to do the fillet I click apply we need one more radius here 5 enter then this edge and ok so this way we have created the model